Welcome to Canada All Stars. We're back with another fun-filled webinar where we bring the UK travel trade's biggest Canada fans to the small screen to tell you all about their Canada and how you can sell Canada that bit better. So I'm delighted we've got Ken Garrity with us today from Ken Garrity Travel. Hey Ken, how are you? I'm fine and uh, good morning to you too. Good stuff. Well, Ken is um, one of our elite Canada specialists and he's dressed up for us today. Go on, Ken, tell us a little bit about your robes because I, I asked oh, you to yeah. put them on. <laughs> yeah, last year you met me when I was the provost of Altrincham, that's the mayor of Altrincham, so I had fancier robes than this. Uh, this year they, I'm now an alderman Garrity of Altrincham and these are my new robes that I'm wearing today, just for you. Uh, great, no, it's, it's fun, good, good to bring a bit of colour to, to the proceedings. <laughs> um, okay. So we will we'll dive straight in, um, yeah. I know you've, um, we've got lots to talk about, so we'll, we'll start off with our first question you know, which is kind of why Canada? How do you get involved with Canada? Oh, sure. Uh, well, I first started in travel business in 1968. Uh, did all my Spain's costas and what have you. My first long haul trip then was to uh, the States, which a fantastic trip. Uh, and then my first trip to Canada was 1981. And this is the days of CPR and Ward Air, uh, which you may remember. And uh, it was into Calgary and to Vancouver. Uh, they took us across to Banff and we stayed at the Banff Springs Hotel and what they showed us was fabulous. We did horse riding in the Bow Valley, uh, up to Sulphur Mountain, across to Lake Louise where in fact it was so cold, uh, this is in, at the end of May, the ice was still on the edge of the lake so we could walk around the, uh, on the ice on the lake. So that's a, 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 a one off there. But from that then we went over to Vancouver, Gastown, uh, Grouse Mountain and uh, the bears, the cubs were up there as well, which was really good. And I just got the whole feel of Canada, the scenery, the people, absolutely superb. So in 1981, I actually started up my own agency, which was at that time called Carlton Travel. And uh, the first winter, the first uh, December, January period, I did a Canada promotion with the tourist board yourselves, uh, airlines, train companies. Got 40 odd people to come along, and roughly half of them booked that week and there I did it for, for several years and uh, peak was 112 people uh, still booking etc and I must have sent hundreds and hundreds of people for, uh, to Canada from that trip and absolutely superb the feedback was good you just sold it from the heart and it was easy an, an easy sell yeah well that's good to hear so um, you know Canada's kind of known for its natural wonders you know, what's what's your experience? What what would you really recommend for people who, who maybe don't know Canada so well and um, want some some recommendations of, of where to send their clients to really see Canada in its, all its glory? Well, uh, again, going back to the Rockies, that was my first image of Canada and it was absolutely superb. I mean, one of the best drives along is the Icefield Parkway. You've got the snow on the top of the mountains, the lakes, uh, reflections. Uh, that was that was my first impressions which got me but since then I've done quite a few trips to Canada uh, even from the Halifax side which was superb again um, so much to do see uh, the Bay of Fundy uh, the highest tide in the world that sort of thing and then over to Victoria uh, Vancouver Island and uh, watching orcas off the coast there uh, all those sort of uh, images come to mind straight away when I'm selling Canada from east to west and one of my best trips was up to the Yukon and we saw the Northern Lights there. Uh, superb, again, another superb trip. Yukon, uh, I was asked to go a couple of times. At time wise, I couldn't make it, but when I finally made it, I wish I'd gone again. <laughs> oh. It was, it was, it was, uh, you're in the wilderness. Uh, nobody on the roads, absolutely nobody on the roads. Walking trips around the, the lakes. Um, you're just in the open air. And when we finally flew back into Canada, the word, first word was, it's concrete. We hadn't seen concrete for a week and it ah. really came across like the chalk and cheese. Thoroughly enjoyed the Yukon as well. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I, Yukon still, I've not been, it's on my list. And yeah, I mean, oh. I think people don't realise that it's only two hour flight from Vancouver. So it's actually very accessible if you're in Western Canada to kind exactly. of hop yeah. up. And yeah. yeah, you get a totally wilderness experience. So yeah. oh, that's brilliant. So um, next question is, uh, a lot of people have got bucket lists these days. Um, I, I know I've got one. 
Um, you know, what, what, you know, what, what, what would you say is the sort of the connect Canada's sort of bucket list experiences? Well, obviously it's the natural beauty of the place. Uh, the animals, uh, the bears, um, it's, 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 for instance, I was driving down the road on the uh, Icefield Parkway. Did I tell you it's the best scenic drive in the world? Yes. <laughs> and this is on snow and I hadn't done this before. And I was doing it at 30 miles an hour where the, the, I think it was the Brewster bus went past about 60 miles an hour. So I thought if he can do it, I can do it. Right? But as we were flying along there, there's elk on the road <laughs> and it's like, hold on, this is, this is nature, this is coming to me. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, like, and again, on the same drive, a uh, different time, uh, the bus driver pulled over for us and he says, look at this. And there's a beaver lodge right by the side of the road. Wow. Simple things like that. But also, uh, I've seen, again, uh, whale watching both uh, East Coast and West Coast now. And little things like that. My, my, my trip I want to do is to see the polar bears, up, obviously in Churchill. It's, it's got to be there somewhere one of these days. But lots and lots of uh, wildlife uh, make it for me. And I think it, uh, the public want that as well. You know, when they go over, that's what they're looking for. Something different they don't get here. Yeah, no, definitely. The wildlife is, is certainly a big draw card. And, and yeah, and it is very accessible. I think, um, like, like you said, I... Um, I think I always tell people if you want to see bears in Whistler, you go down the golf course, and they're, they're, <laughs> they're often they're often hanging out down there, and um, it's it's quite easy to 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 see the wildlife. So yeah, no, that, that's that's brilliant. Um, we also saw it from the trains as well, but every time we saw them, they were running away. <laughs> so it's the bear it's running bit, away. Yeah. I mean, you can see it from the train, can't you? But it's, it's, yeah. it's a bit harder. Yeah, it feels that bit more special when you do see it. So um, brilliant. Um, so, you know, what, you know, when we, we, we all kind of want to feel good and, and get that fuzzy, warm feeling, you know, what, what's it about Canada that, you know, makes you feel good? Well, as soon as you arrive, people are so friendly. That's what got me straight away. Just want to talk to you, even if they're serving you the meal or the bar. They just want to talk to you. They want to help you, and it comes across immediately. You feel safe, secure. Uh, even the car drivers will stop for you to walk across the, uh, the lights. They won't knock you over. It's, yeah. it's all the little things that you miss here. Uh, you know, there's no rushing. There's no pushing it's just uh, casual relaxing and that comes across straight away when you're there uh, it's also the quality of the place as well for instance I've stayed in so many really nice hotels over there and again service is good uh, food entertainment is all top-notch and I just love going back to see these sort of places and feel comfortable when I'm there as well um, it's, it's in your comfort zone you're on holiday or Band trip if you're working and it just comes across really really well to you oh that's good to hear so come on you've been a fair few times yes. um i know so you must have some little secrets a little off the beaten track or maybe on the track that you know well, this, is, that... this is my passport from the very first trip by the way oh there we go i thought i've been about eight times in fact i went through the whole lot of passports i've been 10 times now Great. Each time, each time something new comes up. And uh, one of my last trips was uh, going across to Halifax, Nova Scotia. And uh, in the uh, ocean walk, walking on the ocean floor with the highest yeah. tide, 53 feet uh, tide. Superb scenery around there as well. And uh, one of the little trips they took us on was into the graveyard in Halifax, which is where, unfortunately, there's uh, 150 graves from the Titanic. Uh, but it's it's one of the uh, not funny, but it's it's different sort of things. There's there's a grave for Mr. Dawson, and because of Leonardo DiCaprio, etc. There's more flowers on that one particular grave. Wow. Than else. Yeah, it comes across. But uh, the people in that particular area. I mean, we went up to Shediac. Uh, we did lobster fishing. And the, the character, the skipper on the boat, I mean, <laughs> he was such fun. We actually got a lobster, but we, we reckon it was planted before we got on board. But, you know, little things like that made the trip. Yeah. And then from, uh, where was it, Moncton across to Montreal. Great. So we had our trip and uh, uh, we had the meal, we went to the dining car. Uh, sorry, from the dining car to the On the bar. ocean train, yeah. On the train, I beg your pardon, yeah, sorry. Well, rail, yeah. And uh, this uh, girl was uh, doing a burlesque show in either Montreal or Toronto. 
and she starts belting out songs for us on the train. And of course, people coming around to see what was going on. And when she'd finished, one of the group on the agents then started belting out opera. Oh. <laughs> yeah, absolutely super. You can't buy those sort of uh, uh, oh. things. Yeah. Uh, other things like going up the CN Tower and uh, I don't like heights, but there's a glass floor up there. And going up, I was sort of like really crawling by it. Coming back and I had a couple of drinks. I was actually tap dancing on the glass. Yeah. <laughs> But these are little experiences you get all the time. And, uh, you know, for instance, uh, we, we did a trek out of um, Banff and it was up to uh, Feel, which is just north of uh, Lake Louise. And we found Emerald Lake, very small, just off the beaten track in the Yoho and uh, National Park. And it was just a nice afternoon walk. Um, superb little things that you can do all the time. Uh, another one was, for instance, we, we were doing the cable car up to Whistler. And uh, all of a sudden the cable car stopped and we thought, oh, okay. But what they'd done, they stopped it so that we could see mother bear and two baby bears walking from one tree line across underneath to another tree line. Superb. It's all little ideas, little things all the time. And uh, a Vancouver trip, I took uh, a seaplane across uh, Harbour Air from uh, Brilliant. downtown. Yeah, $49, come and see Victoria. Paid the $49, 20 minutes later, we were in Victoria, land in the harbour, and had a walking tour, uh, had afternoon tea in the Empress Hotel, as you do. Fair man, <laughs> yeah, lovely. And then we came back on the coach ferry system uh, through uh, Swatton, back up to uh, Vancouver, through the islands, which are really scenic as well. Uh, it's about a three hour trip. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Lots of little things that you can do once you're there. Yeah. No, I I, th I always say about the float plane experience. Yeah, I, I I was lucky enough to do that over to Victoria, and it's it's just phenomenal because you sort of I was staying in a hotel downtown. I took a cab to the Harbour Air Terminal, ten minutes, and then you you literally I think they got free tea and coffee there. You have a little tea, and then out you go. And it it you know it's just it's phenomenal experience. Yeah, I, it's I, I, I twenty love minutes it. later in a different world again. I right? know. Is, yeah. is 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 brilliant yeah like you said it's very it's very good value as well so yeah. um oh great some some really good some good yeah. some good ideas there and some some good suggestions so um we we're coming close to the end now so we, we've got the last question so this one's more you know if you were going to describe canada to you know maybe a friend or, or a client you know and, and and sort of say how you know how canada makes you feel you know what what would you say well, well, I've been 10 times now, according to my passports, <laughs> and uh, I can remember most of it, but it's, the, it's a feel-good factor when you're there. When you, as soon as you arrive, as I say, you actually get in straight into their way of life, uh, and it's just so nice. And once you're outside the cities, uh, you're in your own world, wilderness, your own world, and it's so much... Uh, what a pleasant way to see a country. Uh, there's no rush, no, once you're outside, I'd say no rush. And one of my favorite trips is doing uh, fly drives. So I've done fly drive, Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, Quebec City. Quebec City, again, was one of my favorites, the only walled city in North America. And the other one was, uh, I've done it several times now, was out of uh, Calgary, Banff, up to Jasper, and then across through uh, the Okanagan Valley, across to uh, Vancouver. But each time I go, it's something new, some new ideas, and I like to go again and, and find out more uh, about Canada. There's so many things you can see and do out there. Yeah, well, that, that's really good. And, I, you know, that's such, such a good point of view. You know, you've been 10 times, I think. Yeah, I've probably been maybe that, maybe a few more now. But yeah, yeah, it's still, you know, hardly touched the surface, really. It's such a That's big right. country. And you can see it in four seasons as well. So you, yeah. you go somewhere in the winter, in the summer, you get a totally different experience. And Well, well, I've checked on the passport. Some of them May, June, some of them in October, November, which is my off-season for travel. And again, even uh, going to see it in the winter, uh, it's another world, a different place. And uh, the scenery, again, is outstanding. So, yeah, you, you can go somewhere all winter. Brilliant. Well, Ken, that, it's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you. Thank, thanks for doing it for us. You're welcome. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good experience for me as well. And it brings back lots of memories. The only trouble is that I'm losing more than I'm gaining. <laughs> so, so I've got to try and remember what I've done. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Aren't we all? We, that, 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 that happens to all of us. But no, thanks so much. It's been a real blast today and, mm. and we've enjoyed having you on. And we will look forward to seeing you all again soon for some thanks more Canada All-Stars. So thanks okay. again. Thank you. Bye, everyone.